and of course our rookie Joshua Primo. I've liked what I've seen from both of them so far, Jude. Um, I think Primo's averaging about 14 and a half points in summer league, not shooting incredible uh, with incredible efficiency, but I like what I see from him as far as confidence. Um, and I didn't know he had as much in his bag as he has shown. I thought he was going to be primarily a sit in the corner guy and knock down some threes, but the Spurs have been giving him the ball letting him facilitate a little bit when Trey Jones is not in the game. And he seems to be very comfortable. And it, it seems to me like there is no shot that he has taken there. He's like, oh, I, I didn't want to shoot this. Like he, he's shooting with confidence. And I like seeing that in someone as young as he is, because we, that tells me that his ceiling is just, you know, way higher than anyone had thought previously. And also defensively, he's playing incredible defense. Uh, he's only shooting, I think it was at 31% from three this, uh, this summer league, which is, a little low, but um, with, with Chip England and a little bit more experience, that is sure to, to increase as time goes on. But defensively, he's, he's a dog out there. He's giving 110% effort, and I like what I see from him. It's the same thing with Josh Primo. I mean, coming into this, we were expecting him to be like a shot up, spot up shooter. We see now the Spurs want to play him really as a one or a two, really as a one. I mean, they want him handling the ball as a point guard. Um, but the ability that he has to hit contested shots too, and shots where he's moving. I remember there was uh, one highlight that I saw where he came off a screen late, and there were basically two guys contesting the shot, and he shot over both of them with like <laughs> when he got hit in his hip. So he's like moving midair, two guys trying to contest a shot, gets it up over and hits the three. And this was like late in the game too. Mm -hmm. um, I believe this might have been the Hornets game. It may have been the Nets game. I think it was actually the Nets game. Yeah. And that was kind of fun to see him and Cam Thomas go back and forth. I'm an LSU fan. You guys have probably seen the hat every once in a while. And and to see them kind of relive that rivalry in the summer game was cool for me as a Spurs fan. I never thought I'd be rooting for the Alabama guy, but I guess I was in this one. And they were going at it. I know Cam, Cam Thomas had 36 in that game, but... It was cool to see them kind of like, there was a time where he blocked Cam Thomas too. He talked about his defensive ability. Mm -hmm. That is something that I did not, didn't even anticipate from the tape in Alabama. Um, he's a physical defender. He gives effort. Um, and you can tell that he wants to be good. There were a couple mm -hmm. blocks that I saw. The length that he has is underrated. I could go on and on about this, Ethan, but, but I think you get what mm -hmm. I'm getting at here too. I'm just, I'm kind of just agreeing with what you said, but the ability that he has, um, physically just the the assets that he has physically not just on defense not just on offense but just in general um allow him to do so many things on both sides of the floor